So you'll have to, um, I'm just going to begin with a quick apology. I'm working from home. So if you hear some odd noises, it could be my kitten or a dog. Um, there's kind of nothing I can do about that right now. At any rate, let's get started. So I started by graphing this function, uh, f of t. So f of t is 2t if t is between or equal to 0 or 3. And then it's equal to the constant um, value of 6 if t is greater than 3. And so if t is 0, f of 0, of course, is then 0. So that's this point right here. Um, and this is a linear function, a piecewise defined linear, um, piecewise linear function. And if t is 3, then 2 times 3 is, of course, 6. And so the value at 3 is, is 6, right? And then if t is bigger than 3, and then uh, we get the constant value of 6. So let's define this thing, this new idea called the area function. The area function is something that we will use a lot here in calculus. So I'm going to denote it a of x is the area function, is the area of the region bounded by the graph of f of x and the t axis from t equals 0 to t equals x. So, for example, find a of 2. So a of 2 is the area between our function f and t equals 2. So it is the area of this triangle right in here. a of 2 is equal to, of course we can just use the formula for the area of a triangle. So 1 half, the base is 2, and the height of that triangle is 4. Of course we get 4. Next, let's find a of 5. So a of 5, let's go back up here, is the area of the region bounded by the graph of f of x and the t-axis from t equals 0 to x. So x in this case is 5. And so it's everything we had before plus the area of all of that. So to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to break this region up into two pieces. The triangle that goes out to 3 and this rectangular area here. So the triangular area, again, we use the formula for the area of a triangle, which is 1 half, the base, which is 3, times the height, which is 6. And we're going to add to that the rectangular area, which is, of course, just base times height. The base here is 5 minus 3, which is 2. And then 
the height is 6. So now let's reduce to 3. 3 times 3 is, of course, 9 plus 12. And the area of that is 21. I'm going to give us a little bit more room here to work on some other questions that we might have. For example, we might want to know what is the area for any x. So let's see here. Let's make some room right over here. What is a of x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3? Well, that happens to be the piece that corresponds to this triangular area. So regardless of what x is, Right? We can use the formula for the area of a triangle. So we'll get 1 half times the base, which of course is x, times the height. And the height is always given by, if we put x in here, 2x. the twos reduce and the area is x squared. Now what about what is a of x for x bigger than 3? Well, in that case, we have the area of this entire triangular region plus the area of some rectangular region out to the right. So, A of X. The area of that entire, because since in particular x is bigger than 3, we will always have this entire triangular area. So we will always have 1 half the base, which is 3, times the height, which is 6. And now we have to add to it the rectangular area. So as we saw previously, let's look at our, our first example here. Where did this 2 come from? This 2 came from our x was 5, and we subtracted 3 to get the width of the base. So if this now is x, we're going to take x minus 3. So if x was 6, we'd get 6 minus 3 is 3, and that would be the length of the base. So we're going to have x minus 3 times, and then the height will always be 6. Simplifying this, what do we get? Well, this reduces again to 9. So we get 9 plus 6x minus 18. So that 6x minus 18 comes from distributing down here which is then, of course, 6x minus 9. So, we can write that 
the area function as a function of x is also a piecewise function, right? And that piecewise function is equal to x squared. If 0 is less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to 3. And it is 6x minus 9 for x bigger than 3.